Welcome back to Top Solid 7. In this next video, I want to talk about something in Top Solid 7's drafting environment called styles. Styles control the, visual, the visualization of everything. First, where do you find styles? Well, they're located in your entities tree. You can see mine was minimized to the side here. I'm going to go ahead and pin it so it's permanently docked. If your entities tree isn't visible, let me go turn off all of my managers. The way you can bring the manager back is to go to the 7 icon, go to View, and choose Entities in the tree. Another way to turn on and off the visibility of different managers is right-click on the black bar of any existing manager, and you'll see those also listed there. In here, I have myself organized alphabetically. That's just the way I like to work. And if I come down to styles, I can expand that and I can see all the various styles that I like to use. Notice again that dimension line, right? You don't like that dimension line showing up automatically when you're creating your ordinate dimensioning. So what we want to do is we want to go find the composite dimension style and modify it. So we could take this one, that's the style that was used, and we could edit it. And I can come down to my ordinate mode dimension line and set it hidden. And if that's all I did, you'll notice that that modified that dimension group automatically. And anytime I use this ordinate dimension style in the future, it will be this way. But let's maybe make a new dimension style as well, just to show you how to start from scratch. So I'm going to go to composite dimension style, right click and choose composite dimension style again here. Here, I'm going to call this Compo dims three places. Okay? It's going to be based off of this initial style, so that means it's copied the original settings of everything. The only thing I want to change here is on the font. I want the font to be a bit bigger. I'm going to go with 3 16 I'm going to stay with Arial. And then I want to change the unit format because here I only want to show three decimal, decimal places. Perfect. I'm going to validate. I could do other things. I could change the alignments, what have you, but I think you get the idea. And what's interesting about having multiple dimension styles now, or composite dimension styles in this case, is we can just simply apply them when we want to use them. For example, I just hit apply. Again, that was a right click. And you'll notice I just affected the entire drawing with that composite dimension style. Let's quickly show you another way to use uh, dimension styles or styles in general. I'm going to deal with the standard dimension tool. So this is just to put basic dimensions on something. I want to put a dimension here. I want to put a dimension here, right? I'll pull that off to the side. Why not? That's lovely. Now, there we go. We're going to go ahead and play with our dimension styles because this is right now four decimal places. It's great. But what I want to do is I want to go find the standard dimension style right here, and I'm going to make a new one. And I'm going to call this important dim four places because maybe there's some critical dimensions, and I want to make it really obvious to my team on the floor that these are critical. Okay, So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to make these quarter inch. They'll be aerial. They'll be bold. I'm also going to make sure that we're set up with the unit format correctly. Four places is perfect. For any angles, two places is good enough. For any font tolerances, we can control that as well, but I'm not worried about that. I do, however, want to add a decoration, putting it in a box, and I want to make these in blue because blue people on the floor will know that that's a critical dimension. Finally, if you were going to export this to somebody using AutoCAD or whatever, you could define a layer here to put these dimensions on. Not mandatory for top solid, but for playing well with other softwares, kind of a nice thing to do. Now, how could I use these? Maybe this is a critical dimension, this is a reference dimension. I could right click on this dimension, go down to styles, and I could switch to important dim four places, just like that. If I start adding additional dimensions, you'll notice here at the top of the dialog, you have your style choices. I know that the next two dimensions I'm adding are important. I want to illustrate that this is a 90 degree angle. That's an important dimension. Down here, I also want to show that the length is a critical dimension. I'm going to go back to my 
standard dimension style to re-reference that height. But hopefully this gives you an idea of what you can do with styles. Styles can be used to control anything and everything and help you get to that finish line of completing your design that much quicker.